I've been holding off assembling my head until I got this figured out and what this is is a coolant port and what was in there before that is a, uh, a press fit aluminum tube. This is what the tube looks like and they tend to degrade over time and just kind of crumble. So I ripped that one out uh, thinking it would be easy to just tap it and put in a, a, uh, a fitting or something. But it's a really weird size and there aren't any convenient pipe taps that size. What I found was a M22 by 1.5 tap will work. Um, and this was the only fitting I could find online. Um, I got this on Amazon. And the other size tap that works is a standard tap and I forgot the exact size but it's the same thread as a 10AN for AN fittings. Um, and that was kind of my backup plan if, if this fitting looked like junk. But it looks like it'll work. Part of the reason you want to do this with the head on is because you'll fill your block with chips. So literally as I was getting ready to post that video of fixing this, I came to re the realization that the inside diameter of this is a whole lot smaller than original. So this measures close to close to 10 millimeters um, the original one is like 17 and a half um, 18 maybe I don't know the one I have is really rough so I'm not sure what it originally was I would, I would probably guess 18 um, so what I did was I machined one from scratch and I machined it out of a solid block I thread milled the M22 1.5 thread um, and the reason I did all this was because the head's already on the block, and if I try to tap or do anything weird where I have to remove material or or scratch any of the aluminum, I risk um, chips going into the block and then circulating through my cooling system, which would be bad. So this is a M22 thread. This is like a 25 millimeter hex, just so I can get it on there, and then. The inside diameter of this is right right around where the uh, the original one was, and so this will thread in, just pop right on. This is actually the second one I made. The first one was a little bit too too small for me, and the threads didn't work out that well. Um, I kind of had to mess with the threads a bunch to get it to work because I'm thread milling it out of this giant block, and I can't take it off my machine, and I can't exactly test fit it when it's on my CNC machine. So that's how I did that. And then to do the round part, I bought this $30 lathe at a yard sale, I wanna say a year ago, or maybe it was even this summer. And it's just big enough to fit something like this on there. And I believe this is for like, I wanna say it's for like, jewelry or uh, watch smithing or something like that or maybe gunsmithing I, f I don't know it's a unimat it's from Austria and I've used it for a couple little things I don't have a full size lathe so this is what I got to use for now until I get one in here but yeah <clears throat> if I were to do it again I would probably I don't know what I would do I'd probably just make another press fit thing um, I had to go with this because I had already tapped it. Really happy with how that came out. Should get the exact same coolant flow that I would have gotten originally. And I don't have to worry about it being, uh, falling apart on me. Well, I mean, it might in 30 years or so the same way the first one would, because they're both aluminum. But 
We'll see.